Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I have been gone for a couple weeks and during that time I've been thrifting. I actually went to seven, seven thrift stores. Uh, two of them were identical. I just went back again a second time. So what I have is this huge uh, mega haul to share with you. So I'm thinking this might get divided up into two, um, two parts. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to keep an eye on the time. Um, and then you can watch them in two sittings. So first of all, right, just remind me, reminder to follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash lollipalooza, or you can find my blog at www.lollipalooza.net. Okay, let's jump right in. Um, so first off, this is Crackle Accents. Now I found this in a thrift store, still new in the container. I've used glossy accents. I have not used crass, crackle accents. It says create an aged cracked, crackled effect on paper craft stickers, die cuts, clip art, and more. Dries to a cracked, clear gloss finish. So this was 50 cents. So a really, really good find there. Um, a lot of embroidery floss. And this ha it has kind of like textured almost. It's not as smooth as some of the ones that I've used in the past. And... Um, I got this. I like measuring tapes. I like to cut them up and use them as borders in projects. This is all in centimeters. And although it is plastic, it is pretty old and worn. You can see some of the numbers are fading on it. But it's in centimeters on both sides. I thought that was interesting. Um, I got more of these uh, shower curtain clips or garment pins, you know, and just book binding uh pins, uh, what do you call them, rings. I use these a lot, so it was nice to find another stash of those. And I just picked this up at one of the thrift stores. It's a um, little plastic clipboard. I like this size a lot. I don't really use these to hang them up, but I like the size. I cleaned it up and I put the sticker from Estes Park, Colorado on there. It says, adjust your altitude. Okay, I'm gonna slide this over. Now this I got today, this is the Alpha Smart 3000. Um, the university has a, a thrift store where they sell off all supplies that all the departments are getting rid of and don't need anymore. They had two big bins of these. The Alpha Smart 3000 is basically a portable keyboard word processor. So uh, it's got three batteries in it. Um, I have rechargeables in mine. I just put them in there. So what you do, let me turn this on, see if this will show up on there, if I can type and you'll see that. There, you can see that there. Okay, so there are files one through eight. You can set up different files here and type documents that you put into those files. And then I um, think you can type for about four hours on just these batteries. And it holds, they said, 700 pages in these eight files. So I'm getting the, um, I'm going to go online and get the instruction manual. Let me turn this off for this uh, because I'm really excited. My daughter has had one and she brought it camping once. And that's how she continued writing. So when you're done or you want to move items over to your computer, you just use the uh, port here and use a cable to get it over into your computer. So that was a really good deal. I'm kind of excited about that. And this is huge. Um, let's see if I can get this in the camera here. I'm going to see if I can point to it really. Get that zoomed in there. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? So all of this was a dollar, but I was at the craft store on 50% 50 per, 50 off day. So I got this for 50 cents. Now what it is, it's, it's lots and lots of long strips that are all tied together in knots. So you can see knots throughout it. Here's another one. And so I unknotted it and gave my daughter a long strip before she headed back home. This would make really cute um, shoulder straps for purses. It would actually make really cute bracelets. Um, even handles or ties for journals. So there's a lot there. I think that's really pretty. Okay, let me get my scissors out. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. I haven't opened any of this since I got it. So, um, I bought these because of the ability to do etching on the smooth part right here. Wow, that... <laughs> And so I was thinking of doing etching some glasses while the, uh, my grandchildren were here and we just ran out of time. So that's another one identical to that one. And another one identical to that one. 
and another uh, little golden book to cut up and make into a journal. It's in really good shape. This is Mickey Mouse. And another glass, identical to those. Okay, now I got these two bingo cards and little um, discs, you know, the markers on them, but these would be really cute in journals and I could use those for something, I'm sure. Uh, now, I just picked up a bunch of oven mitts, uh, uh, hot pads, because they're not necessarily my style, but they were like 49 cents each and we need more, uh, especially when we go camping. This really helps to have those on hand. And I picked up this. I always like looking at cards and I like looking for unusual sizes of cards. So I thought these were really a nice size. And they're glittered. It's kind of a raised glittery surface, star, rectangle. And th this one is like um, metallic. So they're all different. Let's see. Not, not all in good shape, but they would make a cute cover for a, a journal or something like that. And speaking of cards, I picked these up. I don't even know if they are, you know, who knows if they're all there, but I don't usually buy decks of cards to hope that they're all there. I get them because I think they're, they're good individually. And I love the backs of these, very vintage looking. And look at that. Isn't they cute? You know what? These, oh, this is, I didn't realize until I got it, this is the exact set that I had as a child. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize until I started flipping through them, this is the exact set that I had. Well, I mean, not this one, but identical appearance. I had these images. Wow. Blast from the past. It's always so interesting to go thrifting and see what you find. And sometimes they are you know, something that, that brings back memories from years ago. That's an interesting find. Okay, and all about coffee, knowledge cards. And I thought, you know, when we do, that's really hard to get open. When we do um, coffee-themed um, crafting, that these might be good for um, journaling cards or something to put inside, like how did Java become a synonym for coffee? And it tells you on the back how that came to be. So they're all questions and answers on the back, but I thought that would be really cute for coffee themed journals, uh, memory decks cards or whatever to put, to use those in the coffee crafts. Okay. And I already had a set of tickets like this, but mine were like the yellow ones. I like these pink ones. And again, $3, but I'm pretty sure I got that half off. And this is a dice game, math dice. I am addicted to, um, besides paper clips, you know that, but I love dice. I, I've just always been very fond of dice. I don't know, I don't particularly need this one here, but um, my grandson might like that. But aren't these cute? They're just adorable and so colorful. I don't know if this is a specific game here. It says math dice. And if I could put a hole in those and maybe make a charm out of them. Um, I thought these were so adorable here. These itty bitty clipboards. Look at them. Isn't that precious? And they're, they're like little squares. So I think those would be adorable to clean up and, and use um, creatively. And I got two more of those. So it's four all together. And this is a silly thing, but I had to get Hello Kitty, right? <laughs> so it's a Hello Kitty Pez. And there is a Santa Claus, too. I'll just donate this back. I don't need more Pez machines. I just I got her because she's Hello Kitty. And still in the cards, I found this set by Despicable Me Minions. So the backs are all the same. Get those up there. The backs are all the same. And then here's the, uh, the fronts of them. So the uh, face cards are very interesting. And these are just, oh, look at the little unicorn. Oh, I love the unicorn. But I love um, that these are rounded corners. They're really cute. And those would also make really good tags or something to fill in a pocket in a uh, junk journal or a journal. And still more cards. Dutch Blitz. Now, we have a game of Dutch Blitz. It's a very fun and fast game. But the cards are so cheap. They're not plastic coated. They're just paper. 
And so um, we go through decks like crazy. And this one's not even opening, so I'm just going to rip it open for you. There you go. These are brand new. They're still in the plastic. Oh, my goodness. Two decks. Well, what I could do is use this, uh, replace our decks with these, and then I can take the old decks and use those for crafting, because I did get these for crafting. But very fun game if you ever come across it. It's just know that the cards are not that great a quality. Okay. And it's called Blitz because it's a very fast game. Oh, and another golden book, 101 Dalmatians, also in really good shape. I tend to not get them if they're all beat up. Okay, still working on it. Now, my daughter had gotten a bunch of glass beads um, in her, uh, while well, she was thrifting, and she didn't need these, so she gave them to me, but they did come from the thrift store while we were uh, shopping together. Same thing with the embroidery floss. She had actually bought the embroidery floss and took out what she needed and gave me this. So it's still from the thrift store. Running out of room, folks. And did I say I like dice? <laughs> Look at these. Now, I have plenty of dice this size, but look at these. These are actually Vegas, uh, Vegas dice. Hilton. They say Hilton on them. Pretty, uh, pretty worn out, but very still really cute. Okay, more to come. Now this one is not a drinking glass, but look what I found. It's just a, it's a bank, and this is actually, I don't think it's the original to this because it's the wrong shape, but uh, good shape, Good. it's in good condition. I thought that would look good on my Hello Kitty shelf. Oops, yep, I totally forgot about this. This, I really went back and forth. I didn't know whether to get this or not. So if you have small children, you are familiar with the Leapster, Leapsters, something like that, uh, Leapfrog. And um, this one is a Hello Kitty case. It's got the Leapster in it and a game right here, which I don't need. So what I thought I would do is give this to a family at church with uh, small children and the game. And I can use this as a pencil case, clean it up a little bit. But um, just so too adorable. I couldn't pass up Hello Kitty. As you can see, I got a few Hello Kitty items today over my trips this, this week. So let me see how we're doing on time here. Okay, I'm going to stop there and then do the rest in another video. And I think that one is going to be even longer. So until next time, we'll see you then. Thank you for watching. And if you are interested in joining an upcycle thrifting craft group, I will give you the link down below to that because it's where it's a Facebook group where we share all of our uh, thrift haul, um, thrifting store hauls, plus also what we make out of things that we find. So good place for that. I'll give you the link below.